and British accent. Did anyone ever say that to you? Yeah, yeah, especially here and around in Kalango. Uh huh. A uh, couple of teachers told me that. Yeah, you and really I do. And I think I think that comes from you know I listen to too much to BBC learn English, so <gasps> yeah. I guess that affects my accent. Wow, that's amazing! Very nice, very nice. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, we'll just wait um a few more students to join, so and then we'll start the class. Okay, so I'm just gonna just give me a moment, guys. I just want to just quickly finish my start of the lesson. I'm a bit late with everything. It's so early in the morning here. It's like oh, it's really early here. Yes. Mm. Around seven. Yes, seven in the morning. God, I'm still sleepy. <laughs> I had a late night last night. Okay. Check everything. Okay, you're getting full class. Excellent, guys. Oh, do you have it 7 a.m. there as well? Mm, okay, good. Same as me then. Hi, Heidi. Heidi. Hello. Oh, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Heidi. How are you? You good? Uh. Uh, today this morning it was cool compared yeah. to the previous days. So I had a brisk walking uh, this morning really? for about uh, 50 minutes. Now really? I'm very comfortable. Yeah, but it's uh, oh. 3, 3 p.m. Uh -huh. It's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot now. That's yeah. good to have a, a good brisk walk. You need to get up as, you know, air, don't you? You feel so much better when you have a nice walk, don't you, Heidi? Yeah, I think so. It's so good. It's so good. I need to do that. I still need to do that. <laughs> Excellent, Heidi. Thanks for joining. Jose, welcome Hi. again. Jose? Hi, teacher. Hi. What's up? What's up with you? Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> How are How you are this you? morning? I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired, Jose. <laughs> I'm really tired. And after this lesson, I'm going straight back to bed. Hopefully, you guys will wake me up. Um, but yeah, it's so early in the morning here, you know. So and it's a Saturday, so it's like ah, yeah, wanna wanna be in my bed. But it doesn't matter. It's only one lesson. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So excellent, guys. So let's move on. Thanks for joining, Jose. Ling, welcome again. How is Vietnam this afternoon? Um, hi teacher, how are you? How are you? It's good to see you on here again. Are you good? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, you're okay. Good, good. Okay. Thank you, Ling, for joining. Excellent. Omar, what about you? How yeah. are you? I am fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you this morning? Um, I am fine, teacher. Good. Ready for the session? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Ratchet? Or Ratchet? Or Ratchet? Hello. Are you there? Hello. Did I pronounce your name properly? Is it Ratchet or Ratchet? Yes, it's uh, Rashid. Yes, I got yeah. it. Woohoo! Yes. Hello. I got your name Hello. right. Oh, I'm, I'm a genius. I'm only messing. That's good. I'm glad to see you on here, um, Rashid. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? What country? Can you hear me? No? Yes? No? Okay, we'll come back to you, Ratchet. Okay, Esbert, welcome. How are you? How's India? You're in India, no. right? No, no. Just listen to India. Bangladesh. Not India. Bangladesh. Oh, no, it's nearly. Yeah, Bangladesh. It was nearly there. <laughs> How are you this morning, Esbert? How's Bangladesh? I'm, I'm very good. I'm very good. And you, ma'am? Excellent. Yes, yes, we're good. And we have another sunny day in the UK, so I'm happy. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, excellent. Thanks for joining us, Bert. Oh, there we have one more person. Um, Alessandro. Well, that's a nice name. Alice. 
Alessandro. Welcome, Alessandro. Welcome. Are you there? You got your microphone on? Okay. Well, welcome to the class, Alessandro. Okay, excellent, guys. And Ratchet, so you're from Morocco. Good, 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 good. Okay, guys, so let's move on. I want you guys, before we start the class, if you guys can introduce yourselves and if you can please tell me um, who is your favorite person and why. Okay, so we'll start with Alessandro. Alessandro? No? Okay. Dav, you want to start introducing yourself to the class? Uh, okay, I'm uh, Dave Walker from uh, Tunisia, and uh, I'm uh, actually a student, and uh, that's it. And your favorite person in the world? Well, I think that uh, the favorite person uh, is uh, the Prophet Muhammad, PBB, up, his, uh, up in him, because mm -hmm. he's uh, the best person in the world, so. Excellent. Yeah, I agree there. I totally agree. Very good. Thank you, Dav. Okay, Heidi, what about you? I'm Heidi from Japan. My favorite person is my husband. Aww. He works hard and he's very generous only for me. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet, Heidi. Oh, that's a nice thing to say about your husband. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jose, what about you? Um, I'm from Costa Rica. I think probably my mother. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Why your mother? Of course. It's a silly question, but because can you just maybe think? <laughs> because, <laughs> because they uh, cook and, and make the laundry. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And help you with certain things. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are always there for you, right? Mother is yeah. excellent. Thank you, Jose. Ling, what about you? Um, hi, guys. My name is Ling. I come from Vietnam. And uh, my favorite person is a um, Vietnamese singer. Uh, his name is uh, Bang Kiu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> excellent. Okay, and why is it your favorite person, Ling? Um, because um, I'm quite um, for me I'm quite interested in uh, his talent and his uh, charity uh, charity activity he did. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Or you know. Um, right. The uh, his performance is out of the world, mm -hmm. and. Um, Mm, I know that uh, he um, he spent during uh, due, uh, mm, he spent quite a lot amount of uh, he traveled to do activity in uh, my country. So I'm quite admire him. Excellent, Ling. So he's very generous with um, helping the people that really need it. Yeah. 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 Excellent, Ling. Excellent. Thank you, Omar. What about you? Yeah, uh, I am Omar. I'm from Saudi Arabia. My favorite person, I think, it is my girlfriend because she beautiful and. Uh, Let her hear this. <laughs> yeah. Are you hearing Omar's girlfriend? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so you like your girlfriend? Okay, and the reason? Sorry, Omar. Um, she beautiful and always she listen to me. Um, very nice. Okay, very nice, Omar. It's a nice thing to say about your girlfriend. Excellent. Mohammed, what about you? Hello, guys. Um, from, I'm Mohammed from Algeria. Um, my favorite person, I would say Mohammed Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. Uh, because he's an inspiring uh, person. Yeah. And that's it. All, all Sahaba, Allah Yes. Excellent choice. Cannot beat the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, Ratchet. What about you? 
Uh, Your I share the same point of view. I uh, my favorite person is uh, Mohammed Salah uh, So because he uh, shows us the the way to, to Allah to, to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good, excellent choice, very good. Okay, Esper, what about you? Oh, did he say he was going away? Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so... Oh, he did. Okay, thank you, Dad, for letting me know that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Alessandra, so are you available to speak for the class before we start our lesson? Yeah. Excellent! You got your microphone on. Good. Okay, so you want to introduce yourself to the class, and who is your favorite person? My favorite person? Mm -hmm. In the world. Oh, in the world, I think, is my mom. Oh. She helps me a lot in studies and gives me uh, strength to the bad... Uh, mm. How can I say that? <laughs> In tough situations. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, excellent. Very good, very good, guys. Okay, guys, so let's move on to the lesson. Um, and today we're going to be learning about the environment. Okay, um, it's a very good subject because we need to, you know, try and improve the environment. And we're going to learn a bit of grammar as well, of course, on top of that. And the grammar is going to be models of obligation. Have we all learned that before, or is this the first time for you guys? Models of obligation, first time? Yeah. Heidi? Is that your first time too? Because I know Heidi, she's a regular, she's always I coming to class. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't Teacher, know. <laughs> can I ask Heidi something? Of course! Um, Heidi, are you have uh, children or kids? Something. Do you have children? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> what a question! Over. <laughs> why did you ask, Heidi? Yeah, I am interested, <laughs> but I don't know why. <laughs> We're all interested in Heidi. Heidi. <laughs> and uh, okay. your teacher, uh, teacher, you have kids? Yes, I have one child. Yes, but one that's, child. That's nice. Yeah, thank you. I've got one little boy. Yeah, he's getting old now. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting old as well. Okay, so let's move on, guys. So, the models of obligation are basically um, okay. We're going to go through them now. So, what I want to do before we get into the lesson, I'm going to ask you guys something really important. So, do you guys um, do you have something to do that is really important today? Like, do you need to do something for your parents? Do you need to do something for your friends? Do you need to do something for your other friends um, that's so important? So we'll start with um, Muhammad. Yes. Well, um, maybe later I'm going to, with my friend to buy a laptop for him because okay. I'm, I'm a little bit of the geek of the, you know, the band, my band. Okay. Too. So do you have to go with your friends, or is just um, optional? You just yeah, want to help your friend. Yeah, it's optional. Uh, optional. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, and what about Ratchet? Anything important to do today? Uh, not very. Really. Yes, I have uh, some. Uh, I want to to help my uh, my my wife uh, in. Uh, I we have uh, some uh, some tasks to to do and uh, mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this is what I uh, I'm I'm going to do. Okay. Just, uh, Excellent. So you must help your wife then, match it, right? Must yes. Help yes. yes. <laughs> Excellent. Heidi, what about you? Yes, Dav. Correct. Interesting thing. Uh, Japan, we have a Shinkansen system. It's a very rapid uh, train system. But now they are um, developing another another way. It we call it uh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, 
uh, using of magnet power. So ah. it's designed for environment. Oh, that's good. Okay. So you're going to do that today. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, Dav, what about you? Uh, I have to sleep like a baby to get some rest. Sorry, After, Dad. Say it again. Sorry. I I have to sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby. I have to really. Oh, you didn't get much sleep then, Dad. Yes. Oh, shame. Hopefully, you'll have a good sleep after this lesson. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alessandro, what about you? Do you need to do something for your mom today? Repeat, please. Do you need to do anything important for your family today, for your friends you want to share with the class? Mm. Like I can give you an example. Um, I must help my husband clean his car because it is so, so, so dirty. Mm. So you can talk about cleaning. Helping your mom clean. It can be any other day. It doesn't have to be today. No, you don't have anything important? Uh, I don't understand what you want to say about that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so okay, so just observe um Alessandro into the lesson and then you can understand then, okay? Okay, Jose, what about you? Doing anything important today? Yeah, I have to help uh, my brother uh, in his homework. Of oh, yeah, he needs your help badly. Yeah. Excellent, so you have to help your brother. Very good, very good. Ling, what about you? Uh, well, today I have to finish my test to submit to my, uh, my instructor's Wow. He is so okay. tricky. Uh -huh. You know, yesterday he explained about me so much. Right. He, he complained. Oh, he, he complained. complained. Right. My he complained. Okay. My test is so much. So, uh, so today I have to fix, fix it to submit, uh, submit for him. Oh, uh, resubmit it. Yeah. Resubmit your work. Yes, I have to right. resubmit. Mm -hmm. Resubmit. If you re if you are doing the submission and the second time round, then you say resubmit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Lane. That's good. You're gonna be busy board today then. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on to Esper. So Esper's not here yet, guys. No. Okay. So let's move on to the lesson, guys. Um. Uh, teacher, you ask me. All right. Yes. Yes, Omar. Did I not ask you? Okay, Omar. Please go ahead. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, nine o'clock today. I have uh, to meet uh, somebody, but mm -hmm. uh, I afraid I sleep because I wake up uh, earlier because I wake I think one mm -hmm. a.m. in the morning. Really? And, yeah, and I have to meet him in nine p.m. <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, good luck with that, Omar. Thank you. Good luck with that. Okay, guys. So um, I want you guys to just, um, if you can just watch my mouth, okay? We're going to do a pronunciation exercise, okay? Um, so basically, guys, if you can please just watch my how I pronounce these two words, okay? So had to, had to. So what is the difference in my mouth? With had to, had to. Uh, yeah. Had to when you open your mouth. Yes, <laughs> when I open my jaw line, had to, had yeah. to, and had to. Had to when your mouth was smaller. Or something. Yes, when my mouth is smaller. So guys, I want you guys to say had to, okay? So I want to hear how you guys pronounce it. It's very, very important. Okay. So we'll start off with Heidi. Heidi, you want to pronounce had to. Had to. Excellent. Jose? 
Hard to. Okay, so I need, I, I'm feeling you need to open your mouth a bit more, Jose. Had to. Had to. Yes, good. Ling, your turn. Had to. Okay, just a bit slower. Had to. Had to. Very good. Okay, Mohammed. Had to. Okay, had to. Had to. Very good. Ratchet. Had to. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. Uh -huh. Ratchet. Had okay. to. And Very had good. And uh, there is difference between the, the, two, the two had or uh, there is difference between the both yes. of them? Yes, yes. So basically had to is different from had to. So I'll type it in the chat box. Had to, had to. So had to, we need to express the jawline. We need to widen the jawline to pronounce had to. But with head to, we don't have to open our mouth just as big. Okay, so Alessandro, you want to try? Head to. Good. Dab? Head to. Very good. Excellent, guys. So I want you guys to also, if you can uh, learn now. Excuse me. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. yes, Ling. What about head? Um... Head to. Yeah, we're going to do it now. We're going to do it now. So if we can pronounce. Head to. Head to. Head okay, to. Heidi? Head to. No, no, different, different. Head to. Head to. Good. Dav? Dav? Oh, okay, excuse me. Uh, head, head to. Head okay, so to. Head to. Very good. Alessandro? Head to. No, no, no. Head to. Head to. Head to. Head to. Okay, okay. Let's go over that again. Okay, Jose? Head to. Mm -hmm. Don't open your mouth such as wide. You guys are still opening your mouths. <laughs> so we need to uh, maybe go like this. Head to. Head to. Okay, Jose again? Head to. Okay, that's better. Okay, uh, Ling? Head to. Mm, you're still opening your mouth. <laughs> so we need to just focus on the mouth closing now because we're pronouncing head to. Okay? Head. So Ling? Yes? Head to. Yes, that's better. Omar? Head to. Very good. Mohammed? Head to. Good. Excellent, guys. Alessandro, opening the jaw. Opening the jaw. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Um, Excellent. Teacher, can I yes. uh, explain the difference between head to and head to? Of course, Omar. Of course. Uh, okay. Uh, head to when you had to do something and. Uh, Head to when you like example. I head to to go to the market today. Yes, yeah, that's right. That's the difference. Very good, excellent, Omar. Thank you for explaining the difference there. Thank you. Sure. Okay, guys. So we've done a bit of our pronunciation. So let's focus on the grammar now. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna screen share document. Okay. Um. Just gonna get it now. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Shall I make it bigger? No, that's yes, fine. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think it is actually. Okay. So basically, guys, models of obligation are simply helping verbs that describe possibility, ability, and obligation, such as must, have to, should, supposed to, can able to. Okay, so these are the models of obligation. So always remember to use must, should, and can. So have to, and we're going to talk about have to and must 
um, a bit later in the lesson, okay? So these are the words that we're going to focus on today, okay? Now, basically, so we all know models are a kind of helping verb, okay? Um, Teacher. Yes. What is ob obligation? Obligation. Something we have to do. It's mandatory. Uh, you have to do it. If you don't do it, there's a consequence. Uh, okay. okay. If I understand, you need to put this these words in this place. Yes, so we're going to learn about these models of obligation with must, should and can. I'm going to explain to you the difference between these models, okay? okay. And, where, and when to use them. Okay. okay. So basically, guys, if uh, Heidi, if you can read the form of how we should put the models of obligation in, please. Okay, it's a subject. I, we, Bob, plus model. Plus bar. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, no, read the example. It's fine. It's fine. I must take my medicine every morning. Joe should study his English. Okay, guys. Thank you, Heidi. So, where is the model in this first sentence, guys? Must. 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 Very good. Where is the model in the second sentence? Should. 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 So can anyone tell me the difference between using must and should? So the first one, it's kind of saying must take uh, my medicine. Okay. Uh, must, when you must to do something, you have to do it. You have to do it. Very good. Okay. And the second sentence? Should, should uh, you should do it, but it's not uh, 100 like most. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a recommendation. It's I think a it's, bit uh, of advice. I think it's related uh, about uh, the consequences. With must, there are bad consequences yes. if you don't do it. Yes. And with the should, there's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's correct, Dab. Definitely got it there. So should is basically a, a type of advice that you should give to your friends. So obviously this sentence is saying Joe should study his English. If he doesn't study his English, then he won't pass his exams. He won't learn anything about English. So it's basically a bit of advice that he's been given. Okay? So there are the two differences there. Okay? Um, okay. So let's move on to this part, guys. Okay. So model also has a phrasal model that means the same thing. So guys, so when we're using must, um, it means the same as have or has to. Okay, so we all know that, guys, right? Yeah, everyone aware of that so far in English? So have and has to, it, it means must. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, and should... So we have, we can use is, are, was, where, or supposed to. And with can, we can use is, are, was, were able to. Okay? So the difference is that you can make the phrase a model past tense. So we can change it to past tense. So for example, if Omar, you want to read the example for us, please? Uh, of course. Uh, I had to work last weekend. Uh, they were spent to do their uh, homework last night. Okay, so supposed. 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 Okay. They were supposed Teacher, can to you, do. Can you give me the link of this? Um, well, I can't really give you the link because it's my lesson plan, sorry. <laughs> okay. This is all my lesson plan. I'm sorry, but I can give you something similar that will help you guys, okay? So don't worry. Just remind me at the end of the class. No problem for that. All right. So guys, so where um so what type of word is had to? Obligation. Yes, obligation. And what about we're supposed? Recommendation. Recommendation. Excellent. Very good. So we have the gist of using the models here. Any questions? Any questions, guys, so far? 
Are we all good? Are we all 100% guys? I'm not drilling your brains, am I? Are we all good? Yes, yes? Yes. Yes, guys. <laughs> good. I want you guys to say yes. I'm good, Sakina. Okay. So now, um, have to and must not, they're both used to tell you what to do. So we all know that. You have to. You must. They're all used to tell you that you must do it. Okay. But guys, don't get confused with must not and don't have to. Okay, and um, there's a reason there, and I'm gonna tell you now. Just bear with me. There's something wrong with my computer. Oh, God. Okay, so guys, can anyone tell me what is the difference between mustn't and don't have to? Um, mustn't. Mm -hmm. uh, explain the second one. Okay, so I give you an example. She mustn't use such horrible language and don't have to. She, she, uh, I'll give you an example. Um, don't you she, don't have to arrive before 8 a.m. So what's the difference there? So mustn't is probably a prohibition. Okay. So it expresses the idea that something is prohibited. Yeah. Okay, and don't have to. It's basically expresses the idea that something is not required. You know, so we have you don't have to write before eight. They didn't have to work so hard, and then we have mustn't. You mustn't play with fire. So it's basically an order. Okay, guys. So do we understand the difference between mustn't and? Uh, yeah, guys, and don't have to. The two differences here. Uh, Must not. Don't have to. Okay, Dav, you understand? Okay, um, let's go. Heidi, you understand? Yes. Jose, you understand? Mm, what did you say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> good, good, excellent. Okay, so we're all good. If anyone needs to ask any questions, you can. Feel free to ask me questions, guys, before we move on. Okay? Okay, so we're good so far then. Okay, so let's move on to should. So should, we often give advice with, okay? And the form is, so I'll get someone to read the form for us. Muhammad, can you read the form? Yes. Subject plus should plus verb. And the example, please, Muhammad? You should go outside more often. She should break up with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, guys, um, do you notice the recommendation, the advice in the two sentences? Yeah? So it's given a bit of advice there. Okay? Excellent. Okay. So we can also use should with the past tense as well. So... I'll get someone to read it out for me. So, Dav, can you read it out for me, please? Dav. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's uh, okay. Joe should have studied more for the test. They should have left the house sooner. Very good. Excellent. So, guys, have any questions before we move on to the article? No. We're all good? Okay. Yeah. So let's move on to the article, guys. Okay. I'm going oh, to make it a bit bigger. <laughs> okay, just make it a bit bigger. Sakina, okay. teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, what, about sh what about should? Uh, should. I can... Right. Should, um, Alessandro, it's basically given advice. It's a type of recommendation. Ah, okay. To study yeah. more uh, to for tests in example. Yeah, did you not have a look at the example there? So here's the example. You should go outside more often. She should break up with her boyfriend. And she should study more often. Okay, Alessandro. Ah, okay. okay. So it's you're giving advice with using should. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay. 
So guys, so basically we're going to be going through the ways that how we can protect the ecosystem for future generations. So in other words, protecting the environment, okay? Okay, so let's listen guys and ears open, okay? Okay, so the first one, reduce waste whenever possible. So guys, in your countries, um, do you have a lot of pollution? Do you have a lot of waste? Um, floating around. Do you guys have bin collectors where you come from? So, Alessandra, do you have bin collectors? People that come and collect your bins on a weekly basis? Alessandro! What? Sorry. Are you, li <laughs> Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening, but sometimes I don't understand what you say. Okay. I can't, uh, you need to talk more slowly, I think. Okay. Can everyone else understand me? Yes, understood. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Mohammed, please. Um, where you come from, do yeah. you have any people to come and collect your bins or your waste every week on a weekly basis? Yeah, uh, we do, but it's not enough, I think, because even though there's a lot of waste around in, in the street. Uh-huh, right, okay. Yeah, there's so much waste. Okay, good, yes. good, okay. What about you, Heidi, in Japan? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> uh, this, I'm li uh, living on the condo. Uh, residents need to segregate uh, the mm. trash into okay. five or six materials. Ah, oh, okay. So you guys do recycling then? Yes. Oh, that's good. It's good you're introducing that. That's excellent. Okay, good. Dav, what about you? Where you come from? Uh, from uh, Tunisia. Okay, so do you guys have people come and collect your garbage every week? It's the same as uh, Mr. Mohammed. Oh, same. Oh, that's good, but it's not enough. You're not happy with... Yes. Yeah, okay. It should be improved. Yeah, I think so as well. Okay. So, Jose, what about you? Where you come from? Mm, some people collect garbage at the rivers and, and the beaches, but mm -hmm. there is too much at the rivers. They, yeah. they are still there in many towns. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of garbage is still there yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that needs to be improved as well then. Mm. Okay, good, good. Okay, Ling, what about you? Where you come from? Uh, well, now I live in Hanoi. Uh, it is a center of a lot of uh, business activities. So, uh, although we have, uh, although the, the waste collector work day in and day out, um, polluted, uh, polluted, uh, polluted, uh, pollution thing become a heat etching a heat etching issue in my hometown. Really? Okay. So you have a problem there as well then. Yes. Okay, then. Okay. Right, guys. Uh, what about uh, Ratchet? Where you come from? Uh, I'm from Morocco. Yes, there is uh, yeah, some people who come uh, collect uh, waste on a daily basis, but uh, here to be improved. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, not enough. it's not enough, yeah. Okay. Okay. Omar, what about you? Um, yeah, teacher. We have it and we have uh, people work mm -hmm. and uh, use uh, to, I think, use to, uh, I don't know how I explained it, I explained it but uh, uh, they always have the garbage and uh, sell it. Yeah. I'm uh, sure it's really clean where you come from, Omar. It's like spectacular. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It, it has to be clean because it's a holy place. So, oh, definitely. Okay, Nathan, what about you? Thanks for joining. Okay. Nathan, we're just talking about the environment, okay? So, what about you? Where you come from? Do you have people come and collect your garbage? Your rubbish? Yes. Yeah? And do they collect enough rubbish? Or could it be improved? Hello? 
Nathan, you there? Yes, I'm still here. Mm. Okay. okay, we can't really hear you properly. Your microphone is distorted. Okay, so Nathan, we'll have to move on. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to read now the article, guys. So ears open, okay? And I will try and speak slow. Okay, guys. So, one of the main sources of pollution is simply waste. As we consume more, we also generate more waste. And this waste ends up cluttering our environment. Therefore, don't buy things that you, that you will end up throwing away in a short amount of time. One good way to reduce waste is to use electronic documents to receive your monthly statements by email instead of on paper by regular mail. This will reduce the amount of paper that ends up being discarded. Okay, guys, so we'll have to reduce paper. That can be another way of improving the environment, okay? Second one, recycle what you can. Recycling isn't the cure-all solution to all of the environmental problems, as it requires the use of chemicals to change materials and give them new uses. It also calls for the use of energy, but it can work as part of a more comprehensive environmental protection strategy. Many items, such as aluminium cans, can easily be recycled instead of being thrown away. So recycling, so Heidi, you're already doing it in your country then, yeah? Yes, yes, uh, depends on the materials. Uh, Excellent. That's really good. Japan is definitely ahead of us, definitely. Yes. <laughs> okay. It always is for electronics and everything. Okay. So buy from responsible businesses. Okay, so you can now find many companies which take action to help our planet by using bioplastics for packaging. For example, green plastic is a step in the right direction as making it pollutes less and doesn't use non-renewable oil. Many products are themselves made of or contain packaging which is made of recycled materials. Try to encourage environmentally friendly companies by buying their products when you can. Okay, last one guys. Reduce your energy use too. We know now we know use more energy than ever to power machines that are used every day. Energy use has grown significantly significantly in the last couple of decades for various reasons. The Earth's population has grown, but so has our use of machines that use electricity. Saving electricity can be accomplished easily. Turn off any devices when you're not using them. When shopping for a new appliance, check its Energy Star rating. This will help you choose an appliance that uses less power to accomplish its function, which not only helps the environment, but it actually saves you money on your electricity bill as well. So guys, any questions in regards to the article? Uh, about uh, vocab, cluttering. Yeah. Cluttering, what does it mean cluttering? Cluttering is, okay, so let me ask any of the students if they know and then it, they can explain. Guys, do you know the meaning of cluttering? Cluttering, no? Okay, so basically, um, Muhammad, cluttering, it's like, um, when you have a house and you have um, items all over the place and there's just no space for anything, so we yes. call it a clutter. It's a mess, in other words. Yes. So we're cluttering our rubbish and we have no room for the environment. So we have so much rubbish and it's a clutter. So we're cluttering the rubbish. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. So just think of it as um, a lot of mess, a lot of mess. So when you go into a home, Muhammad, and you see some people, they like to have a lot of um, statues everywhere of people. And it's just the room is just full of statues and nothing else. And there's no room for anything else. So we just call this clutter. It's just clutter. 
and it needs to be fixed. Yeah, it doesn't really look nice. So yeah, okay. Is that understandable for you? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. So much. No problem. Anyone? Uh -huh. Any other questions? How about appliance? Appliance. So appliance. Um, it's like an electrical appliance, such as a washing machine, dishwasher. Yeah. So basically, when it said the Energy Star rating, um, does anyone know about that? Energy Star rating? No. Nope. No? Okay, so basically, well, it's introduced in the UK, where I come from. Um, now the washing machines that are made now, and the dishwashers, um, they usually have a five-star rating, I think. And it usually will say energy star rating. And this means that it uses less power. So it will help save the environment and it will also reduce your electricity bill. So it costs more. It's more expensive, but it's going to save for the environment. So that's what that means. Anyone else? Any other questions? What is electricity bill? Electricity? Bill. Yeah. Electricity bill. Okay, so when you're using a lot of electricity, your parents, Alessandro, they will get a monthly statement on a paper, and the amount will be ha will have to be paid. And basically, it's just how much electricity that you'll use in your household, and then you have to pay it. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, so your parents will be will be able to tell you about the electricity bill. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Can you, uh, sorry, can you please repeat the explanation of uh, energy star, star rating? I don't get it. Energy star rating. So basically, um, Ratched, in in like basically in the UK, uh, they mm -hmm. have introduced the energy star rating. So that means when we go to an appliance store. We're going to buy, so just let's say I'm going to buy a washing machine, okay? And in this washing machine, on the front, it will have an energy star rating. So it will have different stars. And I think each color represents how much energy it saves. And by having that, it's going to save your power. It's going to reduce um, your electricity bill and help the environment. So it doesn't use much power compared to other washing machines. And this is, is unique for UK. Um... Yeah, we have this all over the UK. I'm I'm sure you guys have it where you come from as well. You probably yeah. haven't bought the latest washing machine or dishwasher for a long time, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think, guys, if you were to go to your hardware store, I think you should be able to see the Energy Star rating. It okay. just shouldn't be in the UK alone. But it's got it's more expensive. It is more mm -hmm. expensive to buy, but it's worth it. It is worth it. So yeah. So there you go, guys. Anyone have any other questions? No, before we move on to the discussion? So we're all ready, guys. Okay, so let's move on. Before we start, I'll send you guys the link, okay? And I want you guys to open it, okay? And then we'll start the discussions. Okay, guys. Right, so the first question, guys. So basically, with the discussion questions, um, I'm going to ask you a question, and I would like you to answer with using the models of obligation. And guys, what are the models of obligation? What's the first model? Must. Must. Should. Must. Good. Should. Yes. And the last one? Can. There's Can. one more. Can. Can. Very good. Excellent. So let's start with Muhammad. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, so make sure you have your article open, okay, just to refer to it. Okay, so Muhammad, how can we help the environment? Well, there is a lot of steps uh, to do, mm -hmm. about, or a lot, lot of uh, options to do, like reducing the waste whenever possible, or recycle what, what you can, and Okay, so yeah. if you can change it to the model form, so what must you do, what should you do, what can you do? So use any one of them. Well, uh, we must reduce uh, waste whenever possible. Excellent, very good, yeah. And we should recycle if you can. 
Very good. Excellent. Very good, Muhammad. Very good. Okay. We'll move on to the next person, Heidi. How can energy be reduced at home or at work? Energy reduced. Mm. It's at the article, don't worry. <laughs> Um, uh, you should cut off uh, all energy, uh, all cord uh, from the device when you don't use it. Very good. Yep. Very good. Excellent, Heidi. Okay. Um, Jazz, how yes. can people reduce their electricity bills? Uh, they have to buy uh, uh, the. Uh, a good uh, electricity machine so they can uh, not use uh, more electricity. Excellent, very good. So energy safe appliance, yep, yeah. okay. Moving on, Jose? Yes. Okay, so there's another, there's a few things we can help with the environment. So how can we help the environment? So Muhammad's given the first one, what would be the second one? It's in the article. Reduce waste. So how to use it? Yeah. Okay. So how would you use it in the model form? You must you must recycle plastic and, mm -hmm. and other stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, must recycle plastic. Yes, and glass. Okay, very good. Yes, Jose, good. Lane, what about you? How can we help the environment? Uh, I think people um, can have environment. Uh, no, uh, to uh, have environment, we can uh, we can reduce uh, the energy any use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reduce the energy cost, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. Okay, thank you, Lane. Nathan, what about you? Are you there? Okay, Nathan's not there. Okay, Ratchet, what about you? Uh, again, we can also uh, reduce, uh, uh, preserve uh, the environment by uh, uh, we should uh, check the energy start rating. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. So last question, guys. So why? Okay. So Mohammed. Okay. Back to you again. Okay. Why? Why cut down using fuel-driven cars? Uh. So it's in the article and very bottom, okay, can you, I think. Can, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah, of course. So why cut down using fuel-driven cars? So when we're driving on yeah, the road, we, we, we did, petrol, we, You didn't read this, um, you know, paragraph, the last paragraph. Yeah, I wanted you guys to read it. Yeah, another... <laughs> just have a look. Yeah. Just have a look yourself. Take your time. It's towards the bottom, okay? Yeah, so you've got to use transportation instead of driving in a car, you know. Imagine yeah. everybody uh, using his car, it would be like uh, spending more fuel in the, in the, you know, in the environment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by using transportation, we reduce that fuel. Okay, so you yeah. have to or must or should? We should. What would you use? Yeah, I, I okay, you should. should. Excellent. Very good. Good, good, good. Okay, guys, so just doing a bit of assessment now, guys, and then we're finished for today. Okay, so let's start with um, Dav. Okay, so I'm going to make a sentence, Dav, okay? okay, and you have to respond. Okay, so the model is have to. So you have to make a sentence. We'll have to? Yes. I have to, I have to go right now. I have to go right now. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, you can say that. Okay. Um, Jose, eat fruit. Eat fruit. 
I have to eat ap apples. I have okay. To eat okay. Shots. Okay. What about should? Excuse? Because because fruit is healthy. So what about using should? Uh, I should eat apples. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Good. Okay. And um, ratchet. Okay, so I'm going to give you a problem, Ratchet, and you have to give me advice with using should, okay? Mm -hmm. Say, so, I love to smoke. I love to smoke, Ratchet. I really love to smoke, Ratchet. Uh, you shouldn't smoke. You yeah, shouldn't I know smoke. I shouldn't, should I? I know I shouldn't smoke, yeah, definitely. Thank you for the advice, Ratchet. Okay, Mohammed, yes. I always feel tired. You should take some rest. Yes, thank you, Ra definitely, Muhammad. I need to take some rest. Thank you. Okay, last one. Very good, guys. Okay, um, uh, right. Okay, so guys, I want you to make a sentence with using must. So we'll start with Dav. If you can make a sentence with using must. Um, we must study hard to get what we want. Okay. Mm. So remember, must is you have to do it. There's no choice there. Have to do it. Yes, to succeed, we must to study. Mm -hmm. But I think it's like you don't really have to, but it's just, it's just, it should, you should, yeah. So I think with must, it's you have, you must go to work. It's more of a rule. You must go to work. Because you are an employee, um, and you mustn't speak awful language in class. If you are the so, boss of uh, the family, you should just, uh, you can stay at home. So. Okay, so can you give me a, a, another sentence then, please? Dad. Um, okay, I'm just thinking. It's okay, take your time. Um, we must practice uh, our English to be a native, uh, a native uh, speaker. Yes, that's better. Very good. Yes, because if you want to be a native speaker, you have to learn English and you have to practice. Very good. Excellent, Dab. Hosey, must, please. Mm, you must sleep. You must sleep? Yeah. Okay. And why must, must you sleep? And you must sleep because you look tired. Okay, yeah, because you look tired. Okay, good. Mohammed? I mustn't eat anything because I'm fasting. Yes, very good. Yeah, there's the rule there. Good. Okay, Ratchet? Uh, I must uh, improve my uh, English. Uh, I must okay. improve my English level. Mm, okay, so why must you improve your English? Uh, to get my to get a very good uh, job. Okay, to get a very good job. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, if it's a rule and you have to do it, yeah, you can use must. Okay, good guys. Okay, um, so guys, yeah, I think we finished the assessment process here. So you guys have done really well. Okay, um, yeah, I think that that really covers everything what we've learned today. And um, does that anyone have any questions before? No, no questions. Nope. No, all good. The, about, about the word uh, often. Often, yes. Do Adverb have, of frequency. Do, do we have to pronounce the T or? It, a lot of people ask that question. With me, I pronounce it with. I say often. Yeah, I say often because where I come from, we say often. But I think they're both correct. I think they're both correct. Yes. It depends yeah. on the accents, yeah. Yeah, it all depends on the accent, definitely. How do you pronounce it, Mohammed? Because you've been watching the British programs. Often. Often, yeah, okay. Often. Yeah, we say often, yeah. But you can say often, often or often. I don't think it really matters. Yeah. Okay, guys. So any other questions? We're all good? The next, uh, the next uh, please. Sorry, Ratchet? The next, the, the, next, 
keys. The next class, please. Ah, the next class. The next class. Well, I don't have any more classes today because it's a Saturday and um, I don't. Yeah, but I think there's other classes, guys. Um, if you can have a look at the Kalingo. Um, I think the sh oh, I'm not sure actually. At this time in the morning, I don't think there'll be any classes, guys. But in the afternoon, there should be. There should be. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'll leave you guys. I'll let you guys have a nice day and okay. take care of yourselves. Have a good weekend. You too. Okay. So take care, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.